Hi everyone, welcome back to the Car Cave. Today's video, we're gonna be building another car. We're gonna build a 911 today, and that's based on some of our previous videos. So go ahead and check those out. I'll leave links at the end of the video. So we'll jump right into it. I'm gonna go onto the internet. So we're gonna to go to the Porsche configurator, which pops up pretty quick because I'm on here all the time. And we're gonna to go to 911. Now the previous videos, I was talking about the 911 4S, but today we're gonna to build the car that I would get, which is the 911 Carrera S. So I'm gonna go click on that, wait for it to load, and we'll change over the background so it's a little bit more clear. Color, I like this color a lot. I've seen it in person, it looks very good. Aventurine Green Metallic, it's a bit of a premium, but I think it's worth it. As far as wheels, I like these exclusive design wheels. I think they look really good, particularly when you give them this satin orum finish. It gives kind of a nice two-tone look that I really enjoy. As far as the interior, uh, I'm gonna do this heritage design interior package. So it's $15,000. It is a huge sum of money, You but you do get quite a lot for your money. Uh, you get, the sports seats, and we'll, we'll kind of go through those features as we move along. But the coolest thing to me is these dials. Look at that, that's so cool. I don't think you can get that anywhere else. So I'll show you if I remove it. Uh, if I just put a regular one, pay attention to those dials. They change back to the regular uh, standard black. So you get these exclusive green and white accents, which I think are really nice. And of course you get the sports seats, with the Porsche embossed into them. So that looks really good to me. And I like the Atacama beige. I think it goes very well with the Aventurine green that I chose for the exterior. So as far as packages, we've got the interior package. I wouldn't get any of these other ones. That's just me personally. Uh, carbon fiber roof. It's cool. I probably wouldn't get it. I like the color so much that I want as much of the car in that color as possible. Again, just personal preference. I would get the protective film over the front of the car. And something that I really like that Porsche does is they offer you a couple options. You can either do the motorsport uh, stripe decal, which actually gets rid of your protective film, which is fine. Uh, so you could have this stripe down the center and you can also have the Porsche logo on the side. I think this stripe down the center is a bit much, so I wouldn't do it. I would just do this Porsche one on the side, uh, I think it looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and add back the protective film. Where did it go? Right here. Okay, great. Uh, that's about all I would do on the outside. There's, as you can see, so many options. So take a look at those. Performance wise, uh, I would get PDK. I love a manual car. I'm not a big fan of having a manual in cars that are turbocharged. That's why I would do PDK here. Again, that's just personal preference. Uh, sports suspension, definitely. I want that uh, 10 millimeter drop sport chrono package. And there's a couple different options for exhaust. You can actually uh, leave these quad tip exhausts. This is kind of the standard exhaust and you can do those in silver or black. Or you can opt in for the sport exhaust system, which gives these nice uh, two big exhaust ports. I like that more. Uh, so that's what I would choose. It gives the car uh, a different look and I think it looks really quite good. Uh, extended fuel tank, 911s are driver's cars. I'm gonna wanna drive mine, so I think that would help. And the Porsche ceramic brakes. So I would put them on my car, but probably not for the right reasons. I love the look of the yellow calipers, uh, especially with this green and the satin Orem wheels that I chose. So that's my main reason for wanting to do it. I just think it looks so much better. Quite a premium for essentially the color, but I also get some ceramic brakes. So. Uh, that's why, that's why I would do it. Front axle lift. I teeter totter on this. I don't know if it's really needed. 911s are not so low that you really need that. So I probably wouldn't do it. Lights, uh, LED matrix headlights in black. I think those look really good and exclusive design tail lights. That's a definite yes for me. That's going to black out your tail lights and this little indicator up there. Lightweight noise insulated glass. I mean, that just sounds cool. I don't know if I would really need that though. Comfort, surround view. I love surround view. I just think it looks cool. You have to get folding mirrors, which sure, why not? Night vision. I need night vision uh, for situations that I'm sure will come up uh, sometime in the future. 
Active cruise control, I don't need. That's what my feet are for. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do I need any of this stuff? So something to think about with the heritage package, you can't choose a lot of other options when you do the heritage package because the heritage package kind of builds out your interior for you. So I would do the ambient lighting, which I think you can add, but a lot of these other things like ventilated seats and um, you know changing the interior trim color, you can't. So I'll do fire extinguisher because you never know. Seat belts, again, you can't really change a lot of this stuff because it's kind of set in stone by the heritage package. With the Sport Chrono, you do get this little chronograph, which I really like because it matches these green numbers and white dials. That's a really cool thing. And, and I, I seriously doubt you're gonna see a lot of cars with the heritage package, probably because of that premium that you're paying, uh, but that just makes me want it even more. The only other thing I would really do is the Bose sound system. I like listening to music when I'm driving and the Bose sounds really, really good. So that's my build. I wouldn't really do much more than that. So let me just go ahead and show it to you and then we'll talk about pricing. Uh, God, it looks so good. I love the gold with the green. Uh, it's just, a, that's a color combo that I really like and I don't think you see very often. And then when you sit in the car and you get that, uh, what do they call it? Atacama beige. It's just such a nice looking color. Um, and then those green dials, of course, look really good. So I'm sitting at $51,470 in options, bringing us to a grand total of 169920 for a Carrera S. Um, that might be that might be a lot. But I mean, that's the great thing about Porsche, right? Is you're building the car for you. So if I was going to build a car and I was going to spend this much money on a car, I would want it to be a car that I built, something that's special to me. So I don't think it's too much to spend, um, but I'd like to know what you think. So leave me a comment in the comment section below and better yet, I will leave the link to the Porsche configurator. Uh, go in there and build your own 911. Would you build a Carrera S? Would you build something else? Uh, let me know and then you can go here and you can create a Porsche code and then uh, share that code in the comments and people can check out your build and you know I'll check out your guys' builds and I'll leave my comments too. So it'll be a cool little conversation. So. That's all I have for this video. If you're interested to know how much these kind of cars cost to own, uh, click on wherever this is going to pop up. Uh, I did a video talking about the cost of ownership for 911s. It varies when you get to the GTs, GT3, GT2, but uh, it will apply to this Carrera S. And if you're even more interested to know what's new about the 992, there's another video that I did talking about the updates in the 992 generation, so you can check that out as well. So. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.